Hi, I'm Andrea and welcome to Productive C Sharp. In this video, I want to give you a very quick and extremely practical introduction to unit testing using C Sharp and Visual Studio. Here I have a solution with a, a library, Productive C Sharp, and another project that is actually the test project. That's another library. Okay, I have a class called Math that contains a simple method called ABS, that actually calculate the module of a particular of a number. So if the number is positive number, will stay the same. If the number is negative, will actually return the opposite of that number. As simple as that. Uh, then I have a test project that is referencing this uh, library, Productive C Sharp. And uh, I also added a reference to any unit. This is a new get package that basically provides uh, a, unit, a unit testing framework. And unit is one of the many unit testing frameworks available in Darnet. It's one of the most commonly used. Uh, and uh, I'm going to use this for the purpose of this video. And uh, <clears throat> let's have a look at the ABS test. So this is a class. Uh, I'm referencing nunit.framework at the top. And you can see uh, an example of a test fixture. Uh, each class that uh, describes a set of tests uh, need to be decorated with a test fixture attribute provided by any unit. And each test is actually a, a method and is decorated with a test attribute. As simple as that. If you have the math.abs uh, method, how do you go about testing it without using um, you know, any sort of unit test? You probably would just create a console application. Uh, just try to create a math object called ABS and try, you know, um, a negative number, a positive number, or might maybe try zero as well. That's a bit of an edge case. And then you see in the output console what would the result is. Uh, so you may think, well, why do I need unit test? What is actually a unit test? So unit test is basically an automatic way of verifying the behavior of a particular unit of uh, work uh, very quickly. So a unit test is something that runs extremely quickly, runs in memory, uh, runs code that doesn't touch any external system like a file system or databases or anything like that, and allows you to verify the behavior of your system. So the idea is that if you have a, a system that contains a lot of code, you will have a large number of unit tests that covers that particular code and can be run automatically to verify that the behavior of the system is correct. And uh, having so many tests basically allows you to have a safety net. If you're going to change the code in the future, make any add new features or factor in the code to make it better, you have a safety net that allows you to make sure that your changes are safe and you are not changing the behavior of the system. And uh, one of the key elements of the unit test is that the unit tests are usually run automatically. Uh, often, in professional uh, projects, um, use uh, continuous integration. So that means that every single time um, a commit is pushed to a, a, a server, a SUS control server, the builds kick in and all the unit tests runs automatically to verify that the system works. And the amount of um, you know feedback that you get from unit test is incredible. So you kind of in, in, increase this, um, the confidence that you have in changes your code. So in this case, I want to show you, we actually do the test that um, calling ABS with a negative number like minus 10 is actually returning 10. We are testing that calling uh, ABS with zero will actually result in zero. And if we call ABS with five, we actually get five. So the synthesis is like that. Assert is a class provided by any unit. And you are asserting that the expected value 10 is equals to the result of this expression that actually is the execution of the ABS. And it's as simple as that. So you probably can, even if you don't, you're not familiar or you're completely new to unit tests, you can actually read this code. 
So now I want to show you how you can actually run unit tests locally on your machine using Visual Studio. Uh, you can use a uh, Visual Studio, or you can use like Reshopper, that is a, a paid uh, extension for Visual Studio that I use all the time, that I definitely recommend you to use. But you can use Visual Studio for free if you want. In order to run your test using Visual Studio, you need to reference the uh, NUnit 3 test adapter package to the solution. As soon as you do that, you can see a test a menu here in your Visual Studio menu and you can do run all test. Now what happens is Visual Studio will build the solution and the, now the test runs. You should be able to see a report of which test passed and which test didn't pass. As you can see here all the tests passed, negative number, positive number and zero all passed. And that's pretty much uh, what you what you get. Let's try, for example, to go in the implementation here and change it slightly. Let's say I'm going to add one here. Of course, this is not correct. I could go here, right click and do run selected test. And we probably expect that if you pass a negative number now, the test fails. And you see a message saying expected 10, but was 11. So it's very important that your unit test, when they fail, tells you very clearly what is failing. So this unit test actually gives you the safety net. Now, if you go and change something about the particular unit of test, you, you know that you are still actually uh, satisfying the, the behavior. Okay, the other way of running the test is actually using a unit, sorry, is using Reshopper. You can do it uh, uh, easily from the reshopper menu or you can just go on the on the left and you can on uh, and click run all for the class so this will run all the tests in this particular test fixture what happened something similar a test session opens and you can see the result of running the test okay it's fairly similar the functionality that you can get um, okay so what we actually have here. So we have a piece of code, math, and we have some tests that test the ABS uh, functionality of math. And these tests are unit tests that verify that the behavior of ABS is correct. And this is actually a very short and simple introduction to unit testing in C Sharp. We, we're going to explore a lot more in future videos. Thank you very much for watching.